Welcome back to my channel. Today we're working with the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I'm using the Bling Boss palette. Here is what the outside looks like. And here is the inside. So with this palette, I want to do something very dark and glam and I can't wait. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is prime my lids with the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. And I'm just going to blend that out with my wet Morphe sponge. And then I'm going to quickly set that with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in Fair Light. I am going to use some tape just so I can make sure to get a clean line. Normally I don't really use tape, but because I'm working with such dark colors, I thought it would be best. Alright, so let's zoom you in. The first shade I'm going to go into with the Morphe R37 is this Hush Hush shade right here. And I'm going to dust that into my crease. And I do know I'm going pretty dark today. So I'm honestly using brushes that are stained. It's inevitable. I've used many different palettes and if there's a very dark color, my brushes can get stained. So um, I like the brushes I'm using, but they're not my favorite go-to brushes. I just wanted to point that out. The next shade I'm going into is this Rockstar shade with the Morphe M513. And we're going to pop that in the crease, but I want to keep this pretty low. I don't want to go up too high with this look or with this color just yet. After we have the black on and we know where it needs to be darker. This is more like of a cool tone, so you don't want to go up like too high. It can start to look muddy. And don't be afraid to get it on the lid. We are going in with a dark with the black sparkly shade, so want to make sure this is nice and dark on the outer corner and in the inner corner so the black blends easier. Okay and then just back in with the first brush just to make sure we are blended. And then I'm going to take a Morphe M433 with this Mystic shade and I'm going to blend that right in to the socket of the eye and I'm really gonna try to keep this low like I really don't want to bring this shade any higher than right there in the socket All right, and then a little bit of rock star. See how I blended that like all the way up to my freaking eyebrow and I didn't even start that high? This is why, this is why I wanted to start low. I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth until I get the intensity that I want. Okay, so now once we're pretty dark, I am going to start going in with the black shade. I am actually going to pick that up 
on a pencil brush first. This is the R41, and I'm using this Berry Treasure shade right here. And I'm gonna start working that on the outer corner and in the crease. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna give us a better gradient for when we start packing the black on. Because if I started packing the black on, I'm going to end up having to blend out the packed on black. And what I have found, you can trust me on this, is that it blends everywhere start packing on a black color and you don't have that black color in your crease when you go to blend that black color out all that you packed on there is just gonna blend into your crease so that's why I think if you make this as dark as possible before you start packing on the black and get it like shimmery to get it sparkly I think you'll have a lot easier time achieving this look This is also why I use the tape because I felt like when I tried to do this look, I, I tried to do this look and I failed. And I literally had black up to my eyebrows. It, it was awful. Um, I thought I was gonna have a hard time cleaning this up uh, on this side. I didn't even really get, get there. By the time I was done blending everything out, it was literally up to my eyebrow. And what I'm going to do is go in with that Mystic shade. And I'm going to blend that really close in the crease. I don't want to bring it too far up. I just want to make sure the black is blending. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Rockstar just to get that color. on the top. And then I am going to go in with a clean brush. This is the M18. And I'm just going to make sure that that purple is blended. And I'm just going to quickly go over all that black okay so I'm liking how that looks I am gonna go and pack on some of that buried treasure with my Mac 242 brush I'm really doing this to capture the sparkle okay I did not wet my brush because that's a very dark color and if I wet it, it's going to be hard to blend it out. So I just packed it on dry and now I'm going to go in with my pencil brush again and I'm going to try to make sure that this is all blended. Back in with a little bit of Rockstar. And then a little bit of that first shade, Hush Hush. Okay, and then in the crease, I just wanna blend. I'm not gonna take any additional product, but I'm gonna take that brush that I use Mystic on. And I'm just gonna make sure that the crease is blended. Okay, and then I am gonna go in with a little bit more of that Berry Passion on my MAC 242. Not a lot, 
top off the excess and then I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm gonna pack on that color like really close to the lash line you need the Fix Plus for the sparkle and I just kind of want that in the inner corner so that's where I'm keeping it and I'm trying to keep it low that's why we did all that blending right now I'm not trying to make it super dark I'm trying to get the sparkle and don't go too close to the crease you really don't want a whole lot of color this dark that close to your crease Woo! girl I'm pretty happy with that actually I'm gonna go in with that clean brush I use and I'm just gonna go and make sure that there are no harsh lines I think that's really cool okay so I'm gonna take off my tape and then I'm just gonna use a makeup wipe to clean up a little bit and I'm gonna zoom you out so that we can do the face oh I forgot to show you guys my shirt this shirt is so cool it is Wizard of Oz themed so this is the yellow brick road and it's got the uh, monkeys on the back super cool but if you look really closely it's the book written on the shirt isn't that so cool I freaking love it I think it's the cutest thing I can link these below I got them at lithograph and I think they make the best gifts I'm really digging this you guys oh girl I'm gonna be so freaking glam by the time I'm done Okay, so we are going to move on to face. I am using the Becca First Light Priming Filter. It's the Instant Complexion Refresh. And then I am going to use the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. For foundation, I want a really full coverage, so I'm mixing the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Vanilla and the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Yukon. I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. And I'm going to be putting this under my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, Cupid's bow, and chin. I am baking with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Light Fair. And then I'm taking the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25 with my Morphe E41. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this. I'm using the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm going to be using the Morphe R2 with this shade right here and I'm going to bronze up the face. I'm 
going to go ahead and contour my nose with this BH Cosmetics Large Flat Shader Brush and this shade right here. And then with the Morphe R10, I'm going to be taking these two shades right here. And I'm going to put that under my eyes, on my forehead, on my chin, and under my contour, and on my nose. I am just going to contour really quick with my NARS Eda brush and this shade right here. And then I'm just going to blend all that together with this BH Cosmetics Dual Fiber Brush. For blush, I'm using this Too Faced blush in Justify My Love. It's more of a cool toned blush. For highlighter today, I'm using this Fenty Beauty highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And to apply that, I'm using a Morphe 504 and I'm just going to mix the two. It has like one that's super sparkly and one that's kind of shimmery. So I'm just going to apply the shimmery one first and then I'm going to do the sparkly one. I am also going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone and inner corner. I'm just going to take a mixture of the two. I'm not going to layer. Wow. I'm just going to take that brush I used with the transition shade and just light really really lightly blend over that oh girl i'm going to feel this look let's zoom you in really quick and do the lower lash line whoa look at that highlight you guys let's do the lower lash line so to do that I'm going to need... To do that, I am going to take Hush Hush on a Morphe E17. I am going to look up into my mirror and blend that underneath. And I am going to kind of blend it up there a little bit. I just kind of want to get that connected. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Rockstar just on the same brush. I'm actually going to mix the two, Hush Hush and Rockstar. And I am going to put that under there. And I'm going to try to smoke this out pretty far. Alright, so see how I connected that? I think I might put on a little liner. But we'll see. Now what I'm going to do, so I want this pretty smoky, is I'm going to take my liner, which is the Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Extreme Black. And I'm going to line my upper waterline. And then on the bottom... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of black and kind of connect it in that inner corner even. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Voodoo. And I'm just going to put that like right on top of the black. Okay, and then I am going to take the same pencil brush and that Berry Treasure shade, the same one I used on the top in the crease, and I am going to get as close to the lower lash line as I can and blend out that black liner. And connect it. 
up here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take that same pencil brush on the top and just make sure that that blends on the side. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my blender brush and some of Rockstar and a little bit of Hush, Hush again. And I am gonna blend this outer edge here and make sure that it's like nice and blended and then I'm just gonna take the first brush and just that hush 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 and I'm just gonna make sure that we are blended You guys, I'm like really digging this look. It is so cute, I can't wait. And like this is really what I was trying to achieve when I failed the other day. So this just goes to show, if you can't get it the first time, try again. You'll probably learn from what you did. Like I said, I learned that instead of putting the black too high up, I should blend first and then pack the black on. I just packed the black on and then I was trying to blend it out rookie mistake so I think it turned out really good and just keep trying if you are you're frustrated just keep trying you will get it so now I am going to do my brows and put on some mascara and lashes for lashes I'm using the Ilor Vegas Nay Luxe Collection Platinum Princess look like this so I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on and I'm probably gonna do my hair and get dressed and we're gonna do our lips I think this is so cute I found this little romper that I think is super cute for fall and I am living for this look so let's get our lip on so that we can finish this up I kind of want to do like a pinky like a light pinky type of vibe you feel me so i'm using the kylie jenner lip liner in high maintenance and i'm gonna line my lips with that and then i'm using the kylie cosmetics matte liquid lipstick in the shade high maintenance And then in the center, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Lipstick in the shade Me So Pretty. Dab it right in the center with my finger. Mm. And then I'm just going to go in with a little lip liner. Ooh, Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think this is so pretty. It's kind of giving me like high school vibes. I know that's crazy to think about, but I loved a good pink lip and a dark eye. Look at that sparkle, it even comes through. Let's do a close up, shall we? I just think that that is so pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and this look. I definitely think it turned out really good. So I hope you guys did too. Leave me a comment below if you would ever wear anything this dark and smoky or if this is way out of your comfort zone. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And 
If you'd like to be notified when I upload a video, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I upload. I will be uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and I hope you guys tune in. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy buys. Clearly need the color to go. I can. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Just got like a fluff straight up my nose. Um. Dizzy. No. My cat likes chewing on plastic. Please don't. Concealer. There's black eyeshadow on my desk and all on my freaking sponge. I just got it on my face. Good job. I'm super excited about this. Ooh! I love it! Okay. And I'm gonna line my lips with that. <laughs> I had black on my lip. <laughs> oh my god.